Welcome dear students. Subject Mathematics Standard 4th. Students, we are going to see new topic word problems, addition and subtraction. Students, now let us discuss the learning objectives today's topic. First point, division of word problems. Second point, word problems of addition. Third point, word problems of subtraction. Students, whenever words problem is given to you to get confused by reading it. So here, I have few keywords to make identify the addition words problems. By knowing these words, will be able to identify the addition word problems very easily. So, addition words are how many, sum, increase, altogether, total, plus, both, add, more than, combined. Students, all this, these words are appear in any of the word problems that means they are addition word problems students always remembered while solving a problem think about first point the information given second point the answer to be find out third point the method to be used to solve any word problems, these three steps are going to help you to solve your word problems very easily. Students, you have already learned the solving of addition word problems. Let us revise by solving a word problems of addition. First example, Pawan planted 143 seed lime trees and 156 chikku trees in his orchard. Orchard means a piece of enclosed land planted with fruit trees. How many trees did he plant in all? Students, the information that is given to us is 143 sweet lime trees and 156 chikku trees. What we are supposed to find out total numbers of trees. Now let us start the first statement. 143 sweet lime trees and 156 chikku trees. What method should be used here? Addition. Now we will add both these numbers. So 3 plus 6, we got 9. 4 plus 5, we got 9. 1 plus 1 is 2. So 299 total trees. The final answer is. 299 trees were planted. Now second example. There are 1230 story books and 150 poetry books in a library. How many books are there in the library altogether? Students, the information that is given to us in 1230 story books and 150 poetry books. What we are supposed to find out? Total numbers of books. Now let us start the first statement. Students first tell me what method should we use here? Yes, very good. Addition. So solutions. First, we will write the statement 1230 is a story books plus 150 is a poetry books. Now, we will add 
दिस नंबर्स जीरो प्लस जीरो इज जीरो थ्री प्लस फाइव इज एट टू प्लस वन इज थ्री एंड वन प्लस जीरो इज वन सो द फाइनल आंसर इज देर आर वन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड एटी बुक्स ऑल टूगेदर इन द लाइब्रेरी Now third example if 1310 children 1505 women and 790 men came to watch the circus how many people came to watch the circus all together students the information that is given to us 1310 children 1505 women and 790 men what we are supposed to find out yes total numbers of people came to the watch the circus all together students tell me what method should be used here yes very good plus sign means addition now Let's start the first statement. Solution. First, we will write one thousand three hundred and ten children plus one thousand five hundred and five women plus seven hundred and ninety men. Or all, all this number we will add together. Zero plus five plus zero, we got five. One plus zero plus nine, we got ten. And zero we have to write only tens place, and one carry over we will write in the hundreds place. Now we will add along with the carry over one plus three plus five plus seven, we got sixteen. Six we will write in the hundreds place, and one carry over. We will write in the thousands place. Now we will add along with the carry over. One plus one plus one, we got three. The number is three thousand six hundred and five. The final answer is three thousand six hundred and five people came to watch the circus. Students, as we learned. Keywords to identify the addition word problems. Same way, we are having few keywords to identify the subtraction word problems. Let's see how many left. How many more? Take away. Decrease. Remove. Remains. Less. Difference. Deduct. these are the keywords to identify the subtraction word problems which will make identification of the word problems very easy now subtraction word problem first example abdul had 720 bits he sold 648 of them how many bits does he have left students the information that is given to us 720 bits had and 648 bits sold what we are supposed to find out how many bits are left students tell me what method should be used here Yes, very good students. Subtraction means minus sign. Now let's start the first statement. Solution: seven hundred and twenty bits had, six hundred and forty-eight bits sold. We will start from ones place. Zero minus eight. We cannot subtract. Zero minus eight is not possible. So what we are going to do? 
we are going to borrow from the next number towards the left. 2 will become 1 and 0 will become 10. Now we will subtract 8 from 10. We got 2. Now next in tens place. We cannot subtract 4 from 1. So we need to borrow from hundreds place. So 7 will become 6 and 1 will become 11. So we can subtract 4 from 11. We got 7. Now next in hundreds place. The number is 6 minus 6 is 0. The answer 72. The final answer is 72 beats are left with Abdul. Second example, Rowan bought tables worth rupees 6350 and chairs worth rupees 3800. How much more did the tables cost than the chairs? Students, the information that is given to us is 6350 table worth rupees and chairs worth rupees 3800. Now, what we are supposed to find out here? How much more did the tables cost than the chairs? Now, let's start the first statement. Students, first tell me what matter should be used here? Yes, subtraction means minus sign. Now, solution. First, we will write the statement. 6350 rupees cost of tables. 3800 rupees cost of chairs. Now, we will subtract of these numbers. 0 minus 0 is 0. 5 minus 0 is 5. Now, 3 minus 8 here. We cannot subtract. So, we will borrow from the thousands place. 6 will become 5 and 3 will become 13. So, we can subtract 8 from 13. We got 5. Now, in thousands place, the number is 5 minus 3. We got 2. So, number we are getting 2550 rupees cost more of tables. The final answer is cost of tables is rupees 2550 more than the cost of chairs. Third example. In a census taken in 2001, the population of a village was 62,947. The census of the year 2011 listed the population as 74,405. How much did the population increase in the meantime? Students, the information that is given to us is 2011, the population is 74,405. Population in 2001, 62,947. What we are supposed to find out? How much did the population increase in the meantime? What matter should be used here? Yes, subtraction means minus sign. Now, let us start the first statement. Students, first we will write. Population in 2011, 74,405. And 62,947 population in 2001. Now we will subtract both numbers. We cannot subtract 5 minus 7. So we will borrow from 10's place. But in the 10's place the number is 0. So we cannot take the 0 number in 10's place. So we can borrow from the 100's place. 4 will become 3 and 0 will become 10. So, 
in the tens place the number is 10 so we can borrow from the tens place so 10 will become 9 and 5 will become 15 so we can subtract 7 from 15 we got 8 now in the tens place 9 minus 4 we got 5 now here 3 so we cannot subtract 9 minus 3 so we will borrow from the thousands place 4 will become 3 and in the hundreds place 3 will become 13 so we can subtract 9 from 13 we got 4 now in the thousands place the number is 3 minus 2 we got 1 and in the ten thousands place 7 minus 6 we got 1 the number is 11458 increase in population the final answer is increase in population was 11458 students this is your assignment question number 1 Solve the following word problems. First one, there are 867 boys and 576 girls in a school. How many children there in the school? Second, Rakesh had rupees 25,670. He bought a computer worth Rs. 19,345. How much money is left with him? You have to do practice at your home. Thank you my dear students. Keep learning and keep practicing.